2003 on the 53 Jaguar XJ. This is the 3 litre V6 petrol version in the black with the big wheels. Value for money, these cars are really are. At some point, they've got to start going up in value, you'd think. Right, bodywork wise, we'll start off with the bonnet. All nice and tidy and straight, especially for a black car. You've got a few scratches on the paintwork. Oh, we've got a few little stone chips down the front end here. But all in all, nice and presentable. A few little stone chips across the front edge. Like I say, a few little surface scratches. All the light lenses are nice and clear. No cracking in those. Bumper corner is all okay. Tiny little mark here on the bumper corner. You've got parking sensors there as well. A little bit of a scuff down there. You'll see we are missing a little bit there from the fog lights around. And a few more stone chips. But apart from that, all in all, 53 plate black jag, nice and presentable. As we come round on the right hand side, we're going to go around the wing. Obviously, these are the alley body cars, so you don't get like the normal Jaguar rust. You will get some alley corrosion now and then, but they're alley bodied. Nice and straight on the left, on the right hand side there. As we come down the bottom of the wing, you see my reflection perfectly well. See what a good little man I am. As we come up, we'll jump around the roof here. Yeah, sunroof model, this one as well, which is working. We'll go through that sort of stuff in a minute. All nice and tidy across and around the sunroof. Like I say, a few little surface scratches here and there. The glass is all clear as well. No window tints or anything like that. A little bit of a scuff on the wing mirror cap there. As you come down the door, no major scratching around the handle. The rest of the door is all nice and tidy, nice and straight. As we come along the back of the passenger rear door, you've got a little bit down here. A few little stone chips here and there. A little bit of a mark there on the back of the door. Again, no major scratching around the handle, but there is some light surface scratches where it's been washed over the years. You're going to get that in these sort of cars. As you come down the rear quarter around the petrol caps, all nice and tidy. We've got a little bit of a scrape here on the arch. You can see that there, where the paint's come away a little bit. But all in all, nice and straight, apart from that bit there. You can see down there, and I did notice a little bit of paint flake there on the driver's arch, a little bit of corrosion. As we come back down, yeah, the wheels, wheels want to refurb if you... If you're wanting it mint and a little bit of paintwork here and there, you can see that the indicator has broken there. Obviously, when it's been scraped, it's knocked that off. As we come back around the bumper, a few little marks here and there on the bumper. The bumper corner itself, it's got a little few marks on the corner itself there. And again, on the back there, it has got parking sensors as well. Light lenses, nice and clear on both sides. As you come across the back, you can see the odd little mark here and there on the bumper itself where stuff's been put in the boot. A few little scuffs. I don't know what a machine polish would do with this, whether it's going to take some of that out. As we come along, the boot lid itself is nice and tidy. Up on the boot again. A few light surface scratches here and there. And a little bit on the back of the boot edge there. On both sides. As we come down the rear quarter, nice and straight on the left hand side. Bumper corner is all okay. A little bit of a scuff here, all okay here, and a little, few little sort of light scratches there on the bumper. The arch itself looks to be nice and tidy, as is the rest of that rear quarter. It has got a good shine with this one. No real scratching again around the handle. The top half of the left-hand rear door is all okay. As you come down the arch, have a look at the sill there. A few little marks on the rub strip there. Like I say, the wheels want to refurb. As you come across the bottom of the passenger door, looks all all right. Got a little bit of polish sort of stuck in there, I think. The rest of the rub strip looks okay. The top half of the door's all nice and tidy. All nice and straight across there. Wing mirror cap's all okay. Up on the roof on the left-hand side again. It's all nice and straight. Like I say, we have got some light surface scratches throughout it where it's been washed. As you come round the arch, we've got some stone chips here where the paint's come away a little bit. Uh, off the wheel, around the rest of the arch, nice and tidy, wing tops all nice and straight, and again, nice and straight and level down the left hand side. Perfect, just modern car to be driving around in this. I did notice while we were talking about it that we've got some delamination on the wing mirror glass on the right hand side. Overall, nice and presentable. I want a little bit of paintwork here and there. Let's see a good polish transform these cars. Interior wise, 
you've got the cream in the black leather nice and tidy on the door cord a little bit of grubby around the handle but the wood's all nice and straight the seat itself has got a little bit of wear to the driver's bolster but we've got no rips or tears on there and it is a little bit grubby like i say no rips or tears there it's only done 86,264 miles this one which is good mileage for a car this year with the half wood wheel no delamination on the wheel there nice and straight across the top of the dashboard all lovely and tidy the rest of the dash all lovely and straight there's nothing beats a jaguar interior really all nice and straight down there nice and standard it's got a nav unit in it as well armrest is okay a little bit of wear but no rips or tears again you've got the jaguar mats with the black carpets underneath into the driver's rear again door cards lovely and straight and tidy the wood's all good no problems with that there black mats again a nice and clean and tidy you've got heated rear seats in this one as well all nice and straight and tidy on the back seats a little bit of wear but no rips or tears no unwanted smells in there headlining itself is nice around the front half no damp marks but it's just starting to come down a little bit at the rear there you can see that just just starting there at the rear but overall nice and clean and tidy here especially with the heated rear seats that's a good extra to have into the boot carpet all nice and presentable we've got a few little stains in the boot carpet we'll lift that up you can see the space saver is there the boot floor you've got the jack you've got the toe eye nice big battery that's all complete in there shut this boot down as we go into the left hand rear again nice and straight door cards lovely no real wear at all there all nice and clean and tidy in there as you come up the rear seat again minimal wear a little bit of wear at the bolts there They're a little bit grubby if i'm being picky on it but all nice and tidy they got an armrest there in the rear with your little cubby compartments there not a bad place to be sat that into the dry air passenger front again the woods all nice and tidy the door cards all good the seat again showing a little bit of wear at the bolster but no rips or tears unwanted staining or snagging there at all and we'll have another look at that headline so you can have a look at the back there coming down but the rest of it is all nice and tidy into the engine bay now that three liter v6 jaguar engine all nice and presentable in here all the plastics are there missing the screen wash bottle cap Someone was obviously filled that up and left it in the engine bay. You see that quite a bit. All the plastics on the scut are nice and straight. I'm going to get James to come and start it up in a second for us here. All nice and tidy in there. Get James to fire that up here. Thank you very much. We'll check windows and seats and sunroofs and stuff like that. Firing straight up there. No one wanted noises, no rattling, no smoke. Automatic headlights as well. You can see they've come on straight away. We're just going to check the windows. I don't want people to light on these jags. All the windows are working as they should and coming back up. Yeah, happy with that, James? Uh, sunroof is working as well. Let's shake the camera right there. No problems with that. We'll check for warning lights as well, just while we're in here. See if we've got any lights on the dash there, bro. Just the handbrake. That's handbrake, because obviously the handbrake's on and the seatbelt light, because James hasn't worn got his belt on, which I'll give him a turn off in a minute. None of the pixels are missing. No pixels are missing in there. All nice and tidy. Resentable seems to be all alright. Clock's it? on the right time as well. And the clock's working, that's good. There you 